Cameroon's growing reputation demanded respect, and England were grateful for getting in the first blow. Stuart Pearce on another buccaneering run. David Platt, the saviour against Belgium, with a header. The fullbacks cross spot on. The downward header by Platt straight from all the training manuals. At half time, Cameroon again played their trump. 38 year old Roger Miller came on. His run, a rash challenge by Gascoigne, a penalty. And little doubt that it was a penalty. Miller had cast his spell once more. And Kundi was left to step up to equalise for Cameroon and send quivers through the English ranks. With some justification, three minutes later, Ekeke, number 11, who'd just come on as a substitute, started this move. A fine touch once more from Miller. A skillful chip over Shilton, and Cameroon were ahead. Little for England to argue about. All night, Cameroon had made good chances, neutrals would say they now deserved their lead. England looked ragged and lost. It was hard to see how they could save themselves until with only eight minutes of normal time left, they too were awarded a penalty. Lineker upended and although Cameroon argued, there seemed little basis for discussion. Except perhaps how Lineker would react to perhaps the most important moment of his England career. His answer was strong and positive. The second penalty in extra time provided England with a winner. A classic pass from midfield by Gascoigne into the path of Lineker, a Cameroon assault. Again, no doubt about the penalty award. So as a result of that challenge, Lineker was asked once more to go through the fires of penalty taking. His eye and aim were sure. And for the first time in 24 years, and the first time ever abroad, England reached the semi-finals of the World Cup. Italy looked with confidence to...